Okay. This is what I'm talking about here. When the temperature gauge is up about 180, like what it's showing right now, granted I haven't turned the key yet, that's definitely not what it's at, but it'll start up, single crank every time, run just fine. Now, um, I turn the key on, obviously the light flashes to let you know that it's working, and then you go to start. Oh, I found the clutch here. This is what happens. There's attempt number one. Did you see that light light up? There's attempt number two. Attempt number three. We might be good, we might not. Sometimes she decides to catch. I've also noticed when it's running like that, the battery light's on. Once the light goes off, it's kind of when it speeds up. Once I can get her going. Now we're in the clear. Now I've got my foot off the pedal right now. I don't know if I can really trust this RP, this tachometer here, because it, I don't know, it can sometimes take a little while to get up to speed, and other times it, it just it doesn't seem like it ever reads accurately. But you can definitely tell that the TA is working though, just since we're at about, looks like 140, that the uh, engine's definitely wanting to speed up there. There we go. My fuel gauge either isn't very accurate, it should be darn near full. That's the first time you can, there we go. Usually when you hit it, it'll go all the way up to full and all the way down and stuff like that. Now I noticed earlier, before I started working on the spigot pump, that the uh, engine would never climb up to two grand when it was heating up. That it always uh, kind of seemed to idle about a thousand RPMs no matter what, and I noticed when I took out the uh, TA and reinstalled it, that's kind of when I started noticing that it would uh, pull out on a cold start. So I uh, I have not adjusted my um, uh, cold start solenoid at all. For um, I just I don't have the right tool, the crow's foot or whatever, to get to it. Um, the TA really didn't require any adjustment when I went through the setup yesterday. Uh, the butterflies are all uh, all even. Um, I've checked to make sure that they are just closed whenever uh, the accelerator isn't hit. Um, really, the only thing that really required adjustment was the uh, fuel cutoff solenoid. So I adjusted that one. Um, I really, for the life of me, can't remember if it was uh, on too hot or on, or I meant um, on too rich or on too lean. Um, but I, uh, I wasn't quite happy with the adjustment, so this morning I went right back through the uh, Spica tune-up. I just I started everything from square one. When I got back down to that, I ended up just taking the fuel cutoff solenoid out. Took it all the way out, and then I put it right back in and turned it nine and a half turns, which is what I saw on the form to do. And I've I've been more satisfied with the results of that. Before last night, when I adjusted it, the car was running great, but I noticed when you blip the throttle, it just responded instantly. Went up, gave it some good gas. It sounded great, but I know when it comes to the Spica unit that that's not what you want to see. So um, now that I got it adjusted. You can blip the throttle and you'll see, you'll kind of hear kind of, oh, I don't know how to explain it, but when you blip it, there's there's a slight hesitation, which from what I understand is exactly what you want out of the Spica unit. But um, it doesn't seem to be backfiring. My exhaust is popping, but I've got multiple holes in the exhaust pipe, which you can hear right outside the door. really about it. The idle's going to start to come down now because we're hitting the uh, 160-170 range. Like I said, my tachometer kind of re 
responds when it wants to. Same with the uh, odometer, or not the odometer, the speedometer. I've noticed it kind of, it doesn't really start registering speed until you hit about 25, 30 miles an hour, but right about 10 miles an hour right there is just where it likes to rest. But that's, that's that, that's my video. Like I said, light never comes on with the exception of the uh, startup when cold. Now that we're up to here, can shut her off. It's right back there. It drives a lot better. I still think my catalytic converter might be partially clogged because I noticed whenever I hit about 3,000 RPMs, I don't... I do lose power. Um, it's not as bad as what some people say it is when their cats get clogged. They, I can definitely climb it uphill, but I've noticed right about 3K is right where the power seems to really drop off. Um, going anywhere above that really isn't going to get you anywhere. Um, it, it's almost the way the engine runs is it or what the way it's acting is it acts like my Jeep Cherokee where the torque band is between 1500 and 2500 that kind of seems to be my power range I know in a car like this that's not the case so I'm real tempted for the time being just to uh, take the catalytic converter off um, now those bolts are rusted on there pretty good but um, but yeah I, I, I personally, I think the uh, Spica pump is adjusted fine now. I think it's just a matter of me getting the uh, fuel filter off, but we'll see what you guys think. Thanks for watching.